Well, good morning. Today we're in Luke 23, talking about Jesus going before Pontius Pilate. So, enjoy our puppet skit, and see you at the end. Hey guys, it's Polly. In Luke 22 through 23, we read about how Jesus was taken by the religious leaders before Pilate. Pontius Pilate? Oh, did he fly an airplane? Uh, no. Pontius Pilate was a Roman ruler over Judea. All the Jewish people of that area were under his leadership. Oh, so those religious leaders took Jesus to him because they wanted to kill Jesus, right? That's right. They wanted to hand Jesus over to Pilate so he would have him crucified. Mm -hmm. They even asked for another prisoner, Barabbas, to be released instead of Jesus. But why would they do that? Jesus did nothing wrong. Yeah, he didn't do anything wrong, but they didn't like that. He didn't fall in line with their traditions. Mm -hmm. And Jesus had called them out for being hypocrites. That's so sad, Rabbit. It is. But it all was part of Jesus' plan as he would die and raise from the dead as the final sacrifice for all mankind. So, I was pondering. What was it like when Jesus was taken before Pilate? Huh? Let's check it out. Pshh. And now it's time for biblical reenactments with Polly's pals. Oh, hey, Daniel. Why the long face? <sighs> Remember that man who rode in on me about a week ago? Yeah, everyone was looking to hit him to be their messiah. Oh, yeah. That was amazing. I remember him. Uh... Why? Well, today, I saw they took him before Pilate. Mm -hmm. uh, not Pilate. He is very mean, mean man. Uh. I know, and Jesus didn't do anything wrong. Yeah, but maybe this is all part of Jesus' plan. Huh? What do you mean? Well, I heard him say something to the disciples about dying and raising three days later. Oh, so he would do that to be our final sacrifice for sin. Yeah, and grant us everlasting life. Amazing. Let's go see what his disciples are doing. Yeah, those guys didn't get what Jesus was going to do at all. <laughs> And now it's time for Deep Thoughts with Blub Blub. Oh yes, Luke 23, verse 4 through 5 says, So Pilate said, I find no fault in this man. But they were even more fierce, saying, He stirs up the people, teaching throughout all Judea. Mm -hmm. Even though Pilate found no fault in Jesus, he would still have him crucified. But that was part of Jesus' plan all along, to give us eternal life. If you believe gee, that Jesus gives you eternal life, ah, you gonna be blessed. Guaranteed. I'm so happy that Jesus gave his life for me. Yeah, it makes me want to praise God with all my strength. <laughs> Oops, that was a little bit too much strength. <laughs> Oops, excuse me. Jesus loves you. Ba 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 it is interesting as we read this, and again, read it yourself, in Luke 23, as Jesus is before Pontius Pilate. The religious leaders has, had brought Jesus before him, and here he says in 23, verse 1 through 5, Then the whole multitude of them arose and led him to Pilate. And they began to accuse him, saying, We found this fellow perverting the nation and forbidding to pay taxes to Caesar, saying, He himself is Christ, a king. Hmm. They're just trying to get him on anything. Jesus had healed them. Jesus had loved on them. Jesus cared for them. Now they're attacking him. And Pilate asked him, saying, Are you the king of the Jews? And he, meaning Jesus, answered him and said, It is as you 
say. So Pilate said to the chief priests in the crowd, I find no fault in this man. But they were more fierce, saying, He stirs up the people, teaching throughout all Judea, beginning from Galilee to this place. Pilate said he found no fault in him. <clears throat> he said this, and then when he was continually pressured, he had Jesus flogged. He had him scourged. Um, the scourgings would have been like with a cat of nine tails. Uh, it would have been like a whip, and just instead of one single, it would have kind of came out like prongs like this, different little um, whipped areas. And then they would put like bone or glass in there, in the little ends. And so when you whipped across the back, it would wrap around, and they'd pull it. And so it would tear the skin off. Pilate had him beat, had him scourged, and yet even after that, they still wanted him crucified. Even though Pilate said, I find no fault within this man. But Jesus went through it. Why? Why did Jesus go through it? Because he knew he came to earth to die for our sins. Only a perfect sacrifice, without blemish, without sin, could atone. And that perfect sacrifice is God in human flesh. Jesus is God in human flesh. Jesus took the penalty of sin on himself for us so that we could have forgiveness and everlasting life. That is the greatest love story of all time. So with that, let's pray. Mm, Lord, thank you so much for what you've done for us, Lord. We are not deserving of it, but we are so grateful. Bless and keep us in your name, Jesus, and keep us to keep focusing on you so that we do not lose our way. Lord, keep us close to you. Jesus, you've done it all. We want to be, obey, be obeying you and loving you and following you. In your name, Jesus, amen. God bless you.